Good day fellow investors, welcome to the stock market news with a long-term fundamental twist. And that's exactly what we're going to discuss about because the news that we get from the media are made for entertainment and not really to help you in making financial decisions. Over the last weeks, the news have been about Iran, about trade war, tariffs, about Huawei, and all that really clutters the environment and it's really difficult to not focus on what the media is telling you to focus and focus really on the fundamentals. And I would like to take this as an example to give you an example of how to focus on what really matters in general news lives and then on investments. So let's start. There is one question you have to ask yourself. If you look at the news over the last few weeks, we had Iran, the nuclear deal with Iran, the aircraft that was shut down, uh, the Huawei military research that they are doing, and then terrorists with China. You have to ask yourself one question. What is the impact that Iran, whatever happens there, Huawei or a factory in China, that has tariff issues can have on your life. Iran, it's a whole world apart, so zero impact. Huawei, will you use this? Maybe some mobile phone will be slower, zero impact. Trade tariffs, perhaps something that you are buying, you will pay a little bit more. Does it matter over the long term? No. Just to give you an example, two years ago, all the summer was about North Korea. Now it's not even mentioned. And that's something that it's really crucial to understand. And I'll show you something that's really important. I've been researching REITs, healthcare REITs over the past weeks, and I found this. If we look at HCP Inc. healthcare REIT, they are telling me this, 50% of adults in the United States live with chronic conditions. 50%. Chronic condition include arthritis, asthma, cancer, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, diabetes, viral diseases such as hepatitis C and immunodeficiency syndrome. And this is really what matters because 50% of adults in the United States have a chronic disease. Whatever happens in Iran, North Korea doesn't really matter. This is what matters and this should be all over the news. But it isn't because news is entertainment and this hurts because this tells you, okay, you have to change something in your lifestyle, you have to change things. And then you can not be in the 50% of adults. And if we go above 65, then we see this. Approximately 90% of adults in the United States over 65 have one or more chronic conditions that includes diabetes, heart disease, arthritis, depression, and hypertension. That is insane. There is no graceful aging here. So that's should be the most important thing health when it comes to news when it comes to anything that's going on with your life these are the fundamentals of life and the news i ran as i said is just noise further if we look just at the other side of this chart look at the spending for health expenditures it was around two point something trillion in 2006 and now we are surpassing six trillion for the United States, which means that healthcare spending is more than 20% of GDP was just 14, 13% of GDP, even lower in the past. So this is crazy. This is escalating. And this is what really matters for United States citizens. But the story is similar all over the world. You have a big differentiation be between what the media, what the politicians are telling you that is important absolutely not important and then what's really important for your life and this is cru it is crucial to make the differentiation here to understand what matters and what doesn't the same principle applies to investing you have to understand the difference between the noise that the media is producing to entertain to focus on the short term orientation that we as humans inherently naturally have your 
key as a human is just to survive to the next day. That's how we evolved over the past two million years. So we are focused on the short term, that's natural. And the media feeds us the short term, feeds us the noise. To be a great investor, to understand what's going on, you have to focus on the long term. And the same applies to investing. A great example over the last year has been Brazilian stocks. If you are a subscriber for more than a year, you know that a year ago we discussed a lot of Brazil because it was cheap. And let me show you what I wrote in the report last year because it's a clear example of the noise and the long-term fundamentals. And I'll show you also what happened during last year, even if for me, from the fundamental perspective, nothing changed. So Brazilian ETF, the ETF is up 40% over the last year, exactly from, in this case, $10,000 if you would have invested last year. Now it's $14,000. And the main point is, let's look at the news. So I'll go back to my report that I wrote exactly a year ago in June, and we can see that over the short term, the main concerns have been about currencies. The Brazilian real was depreciating. The, everybody was concerned about Brazil, Latin America, about higher interest rates of the dollar. What's going to happen? How will they control the environment, the market, the economy? So economic projections were negative. All that was in combination with striking truckers for a week where they didn't transport anything across the country. So growth expectations for the economy were going down. Everything was negative and uh, there was a lot of uncertainty because nobody knew what will happen during the elections. How will the economy look like after the 2018 October elections? So a lot of noise. At the end, it turned out to be nothing. Everything worked out well but what i am focusing on is like healthcare those are the fundamentals this is internet penetration in brazil over the years you can see still low but growing extremely fast which means that the economy lives are improving you can buy things online developing everything is going well even more important i did buy utilities electricity consumption in brazil constantly went up no matter what happens with the economy with the currencies so really really good fundamentals and then noise that allows you to buy on the cheap so the main point of this stock market news is Focus on the fundamentals, be it in life, be it in investments. Try to differentiate yourself from the noise that is constantly bombarding you and focus on the fundamentals that will evolve no matter what. Over 10 years, no matter what happens with China, with tariffs, the world will be much more electrified, electric cars, copper, nickel, uh, zinc. Uh, emerging markets are continuing to grow. Will it be 4%? Will it be 5 Will it be 6%? It will be always up and down. But if you can find an investment that is focused on the fundamentals and not on the noise, you will do extremely well. Thank you for watching. Looking forward to your comments. Subscribe to this channel for this long-term mindset where we are looking for strong long-term tailwinds to help us when it comes to investing. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.